If you want to learn how to literally talk to and work with any artist, producer, engineer, anybody in the world, stick around to the end of this video because I got some crazy tips for you. What's going on? It's Pim Fried Rice. Welcome to the Music in the Millions podcast, the show where we give independent rappers the tools and resources needed to be successful without waiting on a record label. Guys, networking is a huge cheat code, and if you know how to network, it is going to open so many doors of potential for you in your music career. The better you get at learning how to connect with people and really just learning how to build relationships, the easier it is going to be for you to get your foot in the door in so many different places. And the crazy part is it really does not take a lot of experience to know how to network. You just got to know a couple key things that are going to help you to stand out from the rest of the people doing it. Now, I've done other videos on networking in the past, but that was pretty much like almost a year ago at this point. So I figured it was time for us to get a little bit more updated information on the topic. And I've, I realized I always covered how to network and like tips and practices for networking, but I never really talked about who you should be networking with. And as rappers, the list of people that we should be networking with is actually pretty big. The first person that you should be networking with is other artists and musicians. This one makes sense because you wanna have that door open for collaboration, whether it's another rapper, it could be a singer, or it could literally be musicians, because maybe down the road you could be like, oh, I wanna add a guitar solo on this track, or I wanna add some saxophone on this track, or I wanna add some live drums. By knowing other musicians and other artists who have these talents and abilities, you can basically just hit them up and be like, yo, bro, I got this track, let's see what we can put together, and you're able to now make that dream a reality because you know the right people. But yeah, other musicians and other artists. The next person is producers. Producers is super essential as a rapper because you want to have a network of beats and inspiration because let's be honest guys your beats are your inspiration whenever you listen to a new instrumental that is kind of what's going to dictate where you're going to go with the flow and where you're going to go with the song so you got to meet the right producers and you got to know as many as possible even these big name artists out there that work with like one producer or you know maybe one or two producers on a regular basis they still know hundreds of producers like i can guarantee that even though lil baby and gonna use like wheezy and turbo all the time i can guarantee that they know hundreds of other producers so that way if they're needing inspiration or maybe they want to step outside of the wave of what they typically do they just got to hit one of these guys up the next people you want to network with is djs djs are a great way to get your new song heard they're also the people that are on the forefront of the culture they know what music is popping they know what trends are about to start happening they know what's dying out musically get to know DJs. It's really going to help you to stay on the forefront of trends, but it's also going to be a potential place for you to put out your music and get your music spun. And now guys, if you want a couple cheat codes on how to send your music out to DJs, I did do a video on that one on this channel, so I'll link that up above and in the description so you can check it out. The next type of people you need to be networking with is engineers. You need to know engineers because you need to have that sound mixed and mastered well. And the cool part about engineers is engineers are kind of like these subtle go-betweens with like artists and producers. There's a lot of connections that have been made through engineers, like by a producer that wants to get with an artist, or maybe an artist that wants to work with another artist. By reaching out to that engineer of that artist, they were actually able to meet that person. Engineers deal with pretty much everybody in the music business. They deal with producers, managers, they deal with you know venue owners, they deal with all different types of stuff, especially depending on the engineer. If it's a live sound engineer, if it's a recording engineer, get to know these engineers because they can also be one, great people and themselves, but two, they're great connectors to get you meeting other people. Everybody wants to have a great engineer that they know and they can bounce off of because you gotta have that clean mix. The next one is venue owners. Venue owners are a big one, especially if you want to start getting tour dates and places to perform once the world actually decides to open back up. I'm hoping, I don't know about you guys, but I'm hoping in 2021 we start to see some shows come back and then in 2022 things get like back to normal so that way we can go to shows, we can go to tours, have all that type of stuff because man, I miss that shit. I really do. The next people is ARs and executives. Now on the channel, I always talk a lot about how you don't need a label to be successful and I 100% believe that. If you ask me, I don't think you need a record label, but for those of you guys who want to go the record label route, it's important that you start to network with these A&Rs and with these executives. A&Rs are the people that look for talent for these record labels. They're the ones listening to new music, going to shows, scouring social media. That's what these people do trying to find who's going to be the next big artist. If you start to really build your relationship with these people, you're going to have a better in when it comes to getting in with these labels. 
tables. Now this next one guys, I actually just recently started to implement in my own career and I figured I could not leave this one off the list because it's a big one. And that is bloggers. Bloggers are a great way to get your name out there. Even though people are like, oh man, nobody reads blogs. Yes, they do. People are like, oh man, nobody checks out magazines. Yes, they do. Even though you may not be the type of person that checks it out or you may not be the type of person that reads it, there is hundreds if not thousands, no, I know thousands of people that are reading that kind of stuff. They go online, they love these press write-ups, they love to learn more about their favorite artists. When you start to network with these bloggers, you get a chance of getting written up. They can promote your single, they can promote upcoming projects, they can promote your tour, they can just talk about interesting shit about you. These people need stuff to write about, and so when you lead an interesting life, if you have an in with these people and a great relationship, you could be like, hey man, I had this awesome event that just took place where we, I don't know, how come every time I try and think of an example, my mind just fucking beep, you know what I mean? Like flatline signals in this bitch. But yeah, you can literally reach out to them about any big thing happening, tour, merchandise, project, all that kind of stuff. Bloggers are huge. The next one is influencers. Influencers are kind of something that has been on the rise for the past, I'd say like five if not a little bit more than five years now at this point, but influencers are your TikTokers, the Instagrammers, and the YouTubers are people that literally just, if they say do something, people do it. These are people like Kylie Jenner. These are people like Charlie D'Amelio. These are people like, see, my brain just went blank again. But these people are important to build that relationship with because now, say you have a new song coming out, you could send that song to these YouTubers. And if these YouTubers have a big channel, you could be like, hey man, just play my song in the background of your video, or at the end of your video, just be like, hey, go check out my homie's song. And if they do that, if this person has 100,000 people that subscribe to their YouTube and that regularly watch their videos, that's now 100,000 people that are going to check out your song or potentially check out your song. Get in with these influencers, guys, and TikTok is huge for this one. If you're not on TikTok yet, get on TikTok. I was gonna touch the screen, but then I gotta wipe it, so. Another big one is brands. If there are brands out there that you feel like align with you and with what you do musically, reach out to them. Start to build that relationship. There are a lot of brands out there that I've started to try and reach out to or at least get on their radar. Brands like Boost Collective, brands like Burstamo. These are people that do a lot of the same stuff that I do that I'm trying to get an in with because I respect them and I wanna to get to a point to where we are mutually working on stuff together, maybe even bounce ideas off each other. Find out about some brands that work with you and they could be brands about anything. If you're an anime nerd, reach out to some anime t-shirt companies and see if you could do like a collab project. Reach out to skateboard brands if that's something that you're into. If you're a musician, you could talk to guitar brands about sponsoring you if you're like a super crazy guitar player. There's sports brands, there's merch brands, there's music brands, lifestyle brands. Literally, there's brands about everything in the world. There's baby powder brands. Like if you're the type of rapper that's like a six month year old, six month year old, six, you get what I mean. Reach out to brands, guys. Brands are a huge one. And I feel like brands are really slept on because people think, oh, you can't get a brand deal until you're really popping like that. That's not true. You can get a brand deal at any point. You don't always have to go for Nike and Adidas and these massive brands. You can start down here and start to progress your way up with the brands. The next type of people that you need to be networking with is you need to network with photographers and videographers. These are people that can help you make content, which you guys already know, content is key. I love content, my middle name should be content. If I could legally change my name to content, I probably would because it's so important for getting your music heard. Videographers are great because they can literally take videos. Like if I had a videographer, I wouldn't have to set all this stuff up myself and do these videos alone in my in my studio. But then videographers can also help with music videos. They can help with little content pieces. They can help with performance videos. They can help with so many different things. And photographers can give you photo shoots. They can help you take pictures when you're at events. They can help you to capture any moment that you want. But get to know these people, get familiar with them, get familiar with that world because you're gonna be involved with it. Music and media is pretty much like interwoven at this point, like it's kind of hand in hand Hand. You can't really have music without the, the visual and you can't really have the visual without the music. So 
you're definitely going to want to network with these people. Another one that you need to be networking with is Playlist Curators. Playlist Curators is another big one, especially on like Spotify. That's really the main big one. There are other platforms that allow you to make playlists, but really just anybody that makes a playlist because you want to start to connect with people that are audiophiles. An audiophile, in case you don't know, is someone who loves music, who is obsessed with music. You need to start to network with these people because they're also the type of people that break new artists. There are a lot of people that have blown up just because they get their songs on enough playlists, because they reach out to these playlist curators, because they get those relationships built. Guys, I can't stress that enough. Just getting these relationships with all these types of people will really help you to get to the next level. Guys, drop a comment down below. Who are some people that you think that you should also be networking that I didn't mention in the video already? All right, and now that you got this big old list of people that you need to network with, this is what you need to do. You need to write down the names of all the people or brands or companies that you want to network with so and categorize them. So all the engineers, all the producers, all the record label execs, all the Spotify playlist curators, all the influencers, break them down into lists, and then what you need to do is you need to prioritize this list from the highest priority to the lowest priority. So the people who you really want to build that relationship with, you need to start doing that today. And guys, I got three simple, quick ways that you can start to do that today. Number one is engage with their content. Whenever they post something, whether it's a video, a regular social media post, a podcast, a blog, doesn't matter, engage with it. Like it, comment on it, share it, show them that you're involved in their world. Number two, message them on occasion. Don't be the annoying person though where you're just like, hey, 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 what's up? Hey, what's up? Like, don't do that shit all the time. It gets really frustrating. Also, don't always ask them for something when you hit them up. But if you're the type of person that's conversational, if you know how to just be, you know, a regular person, respond to the stories that they post. Comment on their stuff. Just reach out to them and be like, yo, bro, I hope you have a great day. Like, if you see something that's relatable to you, maybe they post something like your favorite food, you can hop in their dance and be like, oh, I saw that you love carrot cake. I also love carrot cake. Make it small talk, but build that relationship by messaging them every so often. And the third thing that you can do that's really going to help you to build that relationship is see where you can help them. Provide value in any way possible. And if you want to learn more ways that you could provide value for someone, hit the link down below. You can get my marketing course and I will personally show you exactly how you can take your marketing to the next level, provide value to these people and get in the room and work with anybody. Catch you guys next week. Peace.